What up, world? I'm Steve. You guys are the Crypto Crew, and this is where we keep crypto simple and easy to understand. Today's video is an exciting one. Bitcoin breakout coming. We're going to talk about two things in this video. The first thing is how high do we expect this breakout to go and when do we expect this breakout to happen? Now, if you guys are new here, we welcome you into our crypto crew. You definitely want to subscribe. Hit that button right now. Turn on that bell for those videos hot off the press. Now, everybody's biggest question here is when should I buy and when should I sell? If you have this question, I want to help give you the powerful answers that will change your life in crypto. Sign up to my classes, those are linked below, and I'm gonna teach you step by step when to buy, step by step when to sell, so that we help you maximize that retirement. All right, everybody, before we jump into the video, a big special shout out to this community. You guys are incredible. I'm so happy to be back here with you guys and doing videos. Um, thank you guys so much. Almost 30. 3,000 subscribers. Our channel is growing so fast, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, we're going to do things a little bit differently today. As you know, I asked you guys for feedback with which coins to talk about more of, and I actually listen to feedback. It's very critical. Um, so we're having two new coins today. Also, we're going to talk about Bitcoin last. Bitcoin determines this whole market. In Bitcoin, when we analyze the data, it's going to tell us when this breakout is going to happen and how high we're going to be going. So we're going to start with Ethereum. So as we jump into the Ethereum chart, um, first we need to take a step back. Now, a few videos ago, we started warning um, the whole YouTube industry, the whole crypto industry were saying, oh, we're in this massive bull run, Bitcoin to the moon, everything to the moon. And we were warning of a cool down in the market. And we, we warned of that for a few videos. And that's exactly what we got for the past, for the past eight, nine days, we've had a cool down in the market and some consolidation. Remember, on this channel, we don't focus on what's going to happen tomorrow in Bitcoin or crypto or the next day. There's no money in that and there's too much stress in that. We have a bigger strategy where the money is, these bigger moves, and they happen between one week and four weeks. These moves happen. And the, the data was telling us that we were going to have a cool down. Now, as we look at Ethereum, Ethereum, remember, Ethereum has had twice as big of a run-up as Bitcoin. It went up about 100%. We've had some consolidation here, and we're hanging out right on the 200-day. It's phenomenal to see that. It shows a lot of strength. Also, our RSI right in the middle. We are right on our support of this critical line in the RSI that has been... Um, critical for the entire existence of Ethereum. If we scroll back here, you can see for yourself. Now, on our last video, we talked about a potential trying to move back up during this bigger downtrend. Remember, we talked about this down move was going to be between one and four weeks. Well, guess what? We're one week today, all right? We're one week today. We tried to have a move up. It failed pretty quickly. And we are on our way back down. You can see with the Stochastics RSI, our momentum is shifting back down. However, we're still holding pretty strong support here for Ethereum at 585 during this consolidation period. And we've even had moves higher and now we're riding along the 200 day. So important number to keep in mind for Ethereum, about 585, 600. We don't want to see us go below that. We're at 670 right now. All right, let's move on to the next coin. Remember, we're going to have two bonus coins today. And let me know in the comments if there's a coin that we didn't cover here that you would like to see us cover for every video. Next up, XRP. We have some ripple time, everybody. So what we see in ripple is 
a very tight chart pattern. And we're at very critical levels with Ripple right now, and we're holding support on a very critical level. Not only are you holding support here on the critical level in the RSI, our stochastics is bottoming out and getting ready for a potential move up here in the next handful of days. So we need to be patient. Ripple is going to move up when Bitcoin decides to move up. Okay, the whole market is going to shift here in the next um, the next little chunk of time, which we're going to get to momentarily when we cover Bitcoin and talk about when that is. But it's obviously getting ready. We're below the 20 level here on the stochastics, and now we're having some sideway movement, still some momentum to go on the downside, but Ripple is holding strong. And also Ripple is holding strong right on that 200 day, as you can see here which is phenomenal to see. It's kind of a trend across the board, which we'll get to. Now, let's get to the next coin, which has outperformed everybody. EOS. Now, if you remember our last video, when everybody thought EOS would keep going to the moon, I warned you guys that if you had owned EOS, that it was more than likely a phenomenal time to take profits and I told you guys that the market generally moves in these quick cycles usually around a 300% move pretty quickly sometimes five days six days seven days and that's exactly what we saw in Rip and, um, EOS sorry and I, I told you guys take profits be a little bit greedy I know everybody wants to keep thinking it's going to the moon but it's just not realistic that's not what happens in these market cycles and we saw exactly that we saw about a 30% pullback let's see what the pullback was specifically yeah about 32% pullback so um, a nice size pullback but as you can see we have our critical level on the RSI we're not quite there and our momentum is heading down so I expect that we do bounce on this particular level on the one day charts here on EOS so the one day RSI level I'm looking at is about 58 looking for us to bounce on top of that if we do that may be a, a great time to purchase some EOS for the next moves up. Let's get to the next coin. My favorite, one of my favorite coins, and I asked you guys in the last video, I'm not a huge fan of Bitcoin Cash. I am, however, a huge fan of ADA, of Cardano. Um, happy that you guys also really love this coin. Unfortunately, here on Coinogy, we don't have enough data to really jump into it. We only have data from right before New Year's. And as you guys know, Cardano came out a few months prior to that. So we don't have all the data to work with. However, we have enough data to really make some educated um, assumptions as to what's going to happen. And I do want to point out that on, on this channel, when you guys watch these videos each time that I make a video, I want you to learn. I don't want you just to watch the video and say, oh, Steve thinks Bitcoin's going to the moon. Um, first of all, that's not what I'm saying. Second of all, I want you to pay attention to the charts. I want you to learn from the stochastics, learn from the RSI, learn from these moving averages, learn from how I'm looking at the market, take notes, and I want you to become better. All right? I want you to make improvements as you watch these videos. Don't just watch them. Um, Okay, enough about that. You guys get my point. I'm very passionate about this and passionate about helping you guys get to that next level. And I know you can do it. Now, with Cardano, with my this is probably my third favorite coin. It's it's gotta be Ethereum might be first. Um, I also love Bitcoin and Cardano is the if I had to pick three, this is the third hands down. Now, what do we see in Cardano? With the little data we have, we're starting to move up on this 200-day. We're having substantial upswing on our 50-day, which we don't see in any other charts. It's because we don't have all the data here. We have our critical line here 
on the RSI, that level on the one day chart is at 54. We bounced off of that level on the 25th of April. And it's been our huge resistance here. As you can see, huge resistance. It was our support before, now it's our support. So you can see just this snapshot since New Year's, we have had a trend reversal We've had a trend reversal in Cardano. I know there's a lot of Cardano fans here. You guys could be happy. You can see the data right in front of us. Trend reversal, huge resistance, now it's support. Um, our stochastics is hanging out at about 51, a little bit higher than the past ones, but we're on our way down. You can see that we start to have some curvature here in our momentum, but do expect us to have some momentum down here in the short term getting ready for this next breakout that's about to happen. Remember, these moves happen in the span of one to four weeks. And we're about one week in to these moves. The next coin, before we get to Bitcoin, when we get to Bitcoin, we're going to talk about when we expect this breakout to happen and how high should we expect it to go. But this comes from the feedback with the last video. I listen to the feedback and I'm always trying to improve what I'm doing. Even if I'm at the top of my game, I will always continue to improve and make this channel, make the crypto crew more powerful, better, and um, I put my heart into everything. So Litecoin for you guys. What we see in Litecoin is, is similar. It's a very similar formation what we see across the board with this consolidation period is we are hanging out right at a critical level in the RSI, right at about 50. You can see it's held pretty significant support and resistance for the past six, seven months here. We're dating back, um, back to here. So we are right on this level on support and it's been significant. We've only been above this as support for this little period of time. The rest of the time, it's been pretty strong resistance. So that's great to see. Our stochastics is about to cross a critical level right below 20, which we like to see getting ready for our next move up. And we're building this strong consolidation here, multiple days, and we've kind of wedged ourselves in between the 200 day and 50 day, which is also, um, it's great to see. I would love it to be above the 200 day. However, we are hugging this 50 day moving average, riding right along it, and it's literally forming this wedge in between there. Um, so it's kind of this squeeze pattern that's forming, but I like where our RSI is. I like that our momentum is about to bottom out. So all signs are, are good for the next several weeks with Litecoin. Now let's get to Bitcoin so we can see the big picture. We need to understand when this breakout is gonna happen and how high. It's all dependent on Bitcoin, the top dog. So Bitcoin, if we zoom in here, Bitcoin is hanging out right on the 100 day moving average. So we're above the 50 day Great to see we're not yet above the 200-day. Remember, some of the coins that we covered earlier are on the 200-day showing more strength than Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is also just dipping below this critical level here on the RSI, which is about 56 on the daily chart. And we are moving down on the stochastics. So what I do wanna make clear is some people get so excited with the thumbnail. Bitcoin breakout coming. And they say, oh, coming. It must be coming in four minutes from now or maybe three minutes. Guys, on this channel, we don't talk about the small picture. There's no money to be made in the small picture. We take a step back. We look at moves that are between one weeks and one week and four weeks to happen. That's where a lot of money is made, even in down markets. Um, a lot of money is made in these swings, and that's what we look for. That's what we plan for. Like I said, when everybody thought Bitcoin was mooning and this huge bull run was upon us, we warned that a market slowdown 
was approaching and it has. In Bitcoin now, since April 21st, we've had consolidation. So it's what, 10, 10, this is the 10th day of consolidation of a market cool down. And now I'm warning you guys of the opposite, that a, a move up is approaching. The first question is when. If we look at the stochastics, we know that these moves happened between one and four weeks. And again, we're one week in. However, we're getting close to bottoming out. If we cross below this 20, that's a great sign. We may bounce off of this 20. But I, I suspect that this move would happen within a week from today. Now, we, we don't pull dates out of thin air on this channel. We use data, we use analytics, and we use our experience. If you guys aren't aware, I fell in love with the stock market when I was 16, and that was a long time ago. So I, I have a lot of experience in this market. Um, I know that, unfortunately, there's a lot of YouTubers that it seems like they just picked up crypto a few months ago. And um, I don't want to say any, anything negative to each their own, but I just want you to know that I have a lot of experience in this and we are going to be looking for a bottoming out in the stochastics and that's going to dictate a move up. So I tell you that it's within the next week. We need to monitor the charts. We have to really monitor the data that's in front of us and analyze what it is telling us right now. It's telling us that we're going to continue down momentarily, maybe for the next few days. We're going to bottom out and then we're going to start moving back to the upside. So I'll keep you guys up to date. Now, a big question is, Steve, is 6,000 still in play? Absolutely. Let me reiterate, the most critical level in Bitcoin is this one, 11,500. That is the most critical level. Once we get above 11,500 in confirmed support, 6,000 is off the table. If we're not able to get above 11,500 in confirmed support, 6,000 is still on the table because we're in this channel. If, if we can draw a line here, let me just quickly draw a line for you guys so you guys can see what we're dealing with here. We're in this channel here, a bigger channel. We've been here for uh, several months. So you can see that this level right here, 11,500 in this level, around 6,000, we have been bouncing through this channel now for months, for many months. It's a powerful channel. So if we get rejected from this 11,500, we could definitely move back and retest the 6,000. But if we move above it, that's when you'll see me be a lot more bullish. That's to me a true sign of a market shift. I know everybody wants to call this a bull market. I, I, I don't, it's, it's not. It, we're doing a lot better. I told you guys one of the big first keys to me was above 9,000. If we're above that, that's step number one. Step number two is to get above here. So I'm feeling more confident in the market. I will not say we're in a bull run and just the indicators don't tell us we're in a bull run until we're above this level. So that's how I'm seeing the market. Um, a couple things to announce to the crypto crew before I let you guys go. First thing is I did a, a special bonus video to all my students. All my students know I put my heart into what I do. I sent you guys a bonus video of uh, two really nice swing trades that you can place when we do see this market shift back to the upside, which is going to be within the next week. So um, if you're a student of mine, make sure you check out that special video I sent to you guys. Now, another thing is um, my website is going to be up very soon. And I think that uh, a powerful thing that you guys will see is the reviews from all of my students. And whew, 
I have loved reading the reviews. Um, thank you all so much. If you're a student of mine, you haven't sent a review and you want it to be on the website, just shoot me an email and we'll get you set up. But to everybody that's not my student yet, this will help you see the reactions, the feelings, and the true the true feeling of my students. It's it and it, it brings a big smile to my face because um, I get to help change lives, and that is very rewarding to me. So um, I look to really continue that for the foreseeable future and help more and more of you guys get on get on this right path in crypto and maximize that retirement. So. That's why I'm so passionate about what I do. So if you haven't signed up to the classes yet and you have that question of when to buy and when to sell, I want to help you make a big change in your life and I look forward to doing that. If you have questions about the classes, my, my personal email is also below. Please only email me about the classes. All other questions, if you have other questions about crypto, I have my Twitter below and I accept DMs from all humans and I do answer all of you guys so there's no silly questions so feel free to ask a question there too about this complicated world of crypto now I do want to have I have some bad news to share with you guys um, I told you guys about the Instagram scammer that took my profile uh, made a fake page multiple fake pages I have some some news from a crypto crew that uh, thousands of dollars got stolen from her from this scammer. It's it's horrific. Um, my thoughts go out to her. It's just the world we live in, guys. So pay attention. I see it happening on YouTube as well. People take my profile, look for the subscribers because they'll have 20 subscribers or 30 but they have my profile and they're like they try to get you to send them bitcoin and do all these crazy things and then in the comments there's a lot of bots somebody will make a comment and the bot will put 13 14 replies to that comment underneath and they're all talking about um oh this person really helped me with bitcoin and this person made me so much money they're bots guys they're paid bots so just watch out there's scams everywhere how to know that it's actually me look at the number of subscribers or the number of followers on Instagram I have like 25,000 or something so if you see somebody with a hundred followers that's not me so just be careful out there it's a dangerous world now the last but not least if you guys are new here to the channel make sure you subscribe would love to see in the comments where you're from I love reading that it's very inspirational to me you guys know my second biggest passion is traveling um, so I love to see that from you guys. Now, that concludes the video. We're going to keep you up to date about this formation and when the breakout is going to happen. So stay tuned and hit that button somewhere on the screen right now as a picture, uh, our profile picture. Hit, hit that to subscribe. And there's also a couple other videos for you guys to watch as well. So tap your finger on there, click with a mouse, and um, I'll take you there. So... Peace and love to the crypto crew. Fist pound to you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your day, everybody.